We live in a world surrounded by business. Wherever you go, especially if you are in the metro, you'll see people dealing with one another, discussing business arrangements, selling all sorts of merchandise for a living, or perhaps doing routine tasks in the conduct of their day-to-day work. Even if you are in the province, the work of farmers in their fields may constitute an activity that is business-oriented. For the end goal of this intensive labor is to generate income to feed their families. When we talk of business, we talk of a common language. Whatever your native tongue may be, in business, people speak the same, and that language is accounting. Accounting is not selective of people. It does not care about the color of your skin, what degree you pursued, or your educational attainment, how accomplished you may be, your sexual orientation, your race, belief, and even your religion. Regardless of who you are, accounting will pass you by one way or another. Or should I rather say, accounting will stay with you and be with you until the end of your life, and surely beyond. For it will outlive you to account for what you left behind for your children, grandchildren, or heirs in general. When you were born, accounting was there with your parents and your doctors, accounting the bills that were paid for you to come out healthy and secured. Was it paid in full? Was it not? You may never know, but accounting did. As you grew up, accounting took note of how much your parents cashed out to pay for your vaccines, to purchase for your clothes, and to pay for your annual birthday celebrations. And even if they can't afford a proper meal for themselves, you had your piece of share. They took care of that. You may not know where the money could have come from, but accounting knew. You started to learn. You became aware of what's happening. They put you in educational institutions. They paid for your early childhood education. Some of you were lucky, got a silver spoon, and got fed. Some were not. But your parents loved you, they bought you reading materials, and a few toys to play with. At least for you to learn new things as you explore what is around you. You see, but surely you do not until only today, accounting was there again, to account for what you had. So you see my point? And where I am heading to? You took your primary education and continued your schooling. It doesn't matter if what level of education you are currently in. The point is, you are paying for your tuition regardless of who actually paid it. Once again, will accounting be concerned? Of course, yes. See, all the more reason you need to learn accounting. For it concerns you, even if you know nothing about it. Does it have feelings? Yes. Really? How did you know? My answer is, try to ignore it, and it will be offended. But I assure you, sooner or later, it will be coming back to you. So stop being unconcerned. Learn to appreciate the subject matter, for in so doing, perhaps, your life will get easier, one way or another.